Hello everyone, this is Ben, AI6YR, and I thought I would show a quick video of how you set up a solar panel. And uh, it's actually kind of a cloudy day, and it's thinking about raining, but I'll show you anyway. Um, so uh, you can maybe build something yourself. So uh, this is kind of the basic elements of a solar panel in a battery system. And you have three pieces. Uh, one is uh, up there on top is a solar panel that happens to be a, a cheap uh, uh, 25 watt uh, panel from Harbor Freight and that's over here and then uh, you have a battery right here and then finally you have uh, a a uh, solar controller and that's right here so um, it's actually really pretty simple and I will show you the solar controller and we'll talk more about that. So here's a closer look at the solar controller. Uh, this is a Morningstar Sunsaver 10L and um, this is uh, more expensive than uh, the Chinese versions you can buy. Um, however, I've had some bad uh, experiences with some of the cheap ones. A lot of the cheap uh, solar controllers you can buy on, on eBay, for example, are dual 12 volt, 24 volt. And I found out that they would, they try to sense whether it's a 12 volt or a 24 volt system depending on the voltage. And I've had a, a couple of cases where they decided my 12 volt system was a 24 volt system and therefore uh, blew up my battery. And uh, that I think was because the uh, voltage of the solar panel was a little higher than whatever their, their set points are. So anyway, I like the, uh, the Morning Stars because they're pretty reliable, even though they are fairly, uh, quite a bit more expensive than the Chinese. Uh, this is a, a PWM controller. There's a lot of different kind of controllers. Uh, PWM is the simplest, where it just has a pulse that goes on and off to keep the voltage where it needs to be. Uh, the more sophistic sophisticated ones are MPPT, uh, and those are very expensive, uh, but they can work on any voltage. Uh, so if you have a solar panel that isn't a 12-volt solar panel, uh, like one off of a uh, house, for example, for a uh, photovoltaic system, MPPT controllers will let you use those. Whereas this kind, you have to have a 12 volt system uh, solar panel. So anyway, uh, there's really simple here. There's not a lot of connections. There's a uh, on the left here. There's a uh, a solar connector connection where you put your solar panels. I've got uh, I've actually got two connectors there because I have two different kinds of solar panels. There's the uh, the MC4 connectors, which are standard on most new solar panels, and then um, here in the back uh, is, uh, these are old motorcycle connectors which are used on some cheap solar panels, for example this Harbor Freight panel. So just make sure you get the polarity correct. Uh, that can be tricky sometimes. And then uh, in the middle, a 12 volt is to your battery. Uh, some people put the, um, the load on there as well, depending on your system. Uh, you've got to have some other circuitry elsewhere to make sure you're in the right voltage, but uh, by putting it directly on the battery, you can uh, avoid some issues with these controllers. Uh, finally, you can put a load on here, and this uh, is a uh, this this is something where it ensures that your load uh, does not draw your battery too far uh, below where it needs to be. Um, so that is uh, the purpose of this. The other thing is um, some of these controllers can be timed. They're they're designed really for lighting, not for for radio systems, so that's why you might put it on the uh, battery rather than the load as well. So, uh, let's hook this up. Okay, so I had to go and re, uh, rewire my one of my solar connectors there that fell off there. But uh, this is pretty easy. When you connect this up, and I'll put this on the ground, um, you'll see the uh, solar controller goes through a reset and the little green light should be lit up now because the battery's connected. And then uh, all you have to do, all you have to do now is um, connect the solar solar connector, and this is the Harbor Freight version here, and plug that in, and there you have yourself a working solar panel setup. And uh, the you'll see the little little light here for the solar is is lit up and then the battery's lit up, and that means everything's running and charging. So you'll see there's really nothing to these solar, solar power systems, you know, a battery, panel, and a controller, and uh, 
you can uh, put these together with any kind of solar parts uh, pretty much uh, that uh, uh, meet the right specs. Make sure the solar panel are for 12 volt systems. So hopefully that helps you if you're thinking about putting together a, a system and they're really not too difficult to do. And you can put any size of battery on there. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is uh, uh, make sure your controller does different kinds of batteries. This is sealed lead acid. So sealed lead acid has this jumper on on these uh, morning stars uh, if you had a flooded you can actually remove this uh, remove this and it'll put a higher voltage in which is required for the flooded batteries anyway that is a solar panel system uh, I'm Ben AI6YR